Hello. In this presentation, we will explore how differentiated instruction and technology work together. Differentiation is a way to think about how to meet students' needs while helping them advance against curricular goals and achievement targets. It requires planning, and planning often benefits when there is a process established to help ensure that all elements are addressed. In this case, we're going to plan to use technology to help us differentiate curriculum. First step would be to determine where to start, and we're going to ask some what questions in order to answer that question. In the curriculum, the first step has to be what standards apply, and what are the lesson objectives or perhaps the unit goals. Second question needs to be what results do I expect, what's the acceptable evidence of learning, and what are the key attributes of the target concept that my students are learning. And then finally, what resources are available? What human resources, what digital resources, and what traditional resources are available? Once we know what results we expect our students to achieve, then we can start to plan the what, the who, and the how. We want to know what elements of the curriculum can be differentiated in a way that will help students to achieve. We want to know who the students are based on their learning needs. These can include readiness, learning profile, and their interests relative to the objectives. And finally, we need to consider design elements that have to do with lesson, how time interacts, how much time is available, and so forth. Keeping desired results in mind, we can think of student learning needs and curricular demands as a kind of matrix. We can choose to differentiate content by readiness, or product by interest, learning profile by process, and so on in any combination. Sometimes we find that these areas overlap a little as well. Once a decision is made about what will be differentiated and for whom, we then need to decide how we will do that. First, develop choices and options for learning that meet identified learner needs and keep in mind the key attributes and results that are expected. A rule of thumb to check for differentiation is to fill in the areas in the brackets in this sentence. Based on what I know about the curriculum and my students, their interest readiness for learning profiles are, and we will include what those actually are right here, relative to the objective and include that objective, then the process, product, or content will help students achieve the objective because, and we finish the statement. Digital technologies open new doors for differentiation to help us improve how students achieve the learning outcomes that we have set for them. We ask ourselves a number of questions. First, what tools do my students already know or can they learn to help them achieve the learning outcomes and the results that are desired? What digital technologies are available in the classroom and at school? What digital technologies can students bring with them to school and use there? And then finally, Tomlinson warns us against micro-differentiating or simply tailoring the suit a little bit. That's possible with digital technologies too. We need to ask ourselves when we differentiate with technology, will the digital technologies actually improve student learning in significant and impactful ways?